some ideas and revelations coming to me this evening uh, regarding what Jesus said, the statement, I and my Father are one. So as I was <clears throat> showering and preparing for bed, um, things going through my mind that are pertaining to what is occurring in my life experience at this time. And I'm looking at these things and I'm being told uh, some things from the level of spirit pertaining to my own life. And all of a sudden I'm hearing Jesus say, I and my Father are one. And if you have seen me, you have seen my Father also. So, I'm, it's not a stretch of the imagination. It's not really a stretch at all, but it has been shown to me in yet another way. And that is this. We know there are those people in what we call our history who have said, know thyself, know thyself, right? The path to God is know thyself. Well, that is true. But what Jesus was saying um, is very relative to the teachings of A Course in Miracles. Jesus was... So, to the beginning. Okay, to the beginning. We, on this planet, had been... Um, I don't want to say tricked, had been encouraged to believe that a Messiah was needed, a Savior of the world was needed, because we had been convinced already that we were these sinful creatures born in sin, etc., etc., etc. So it was written in all of the spiritual texts and that <laughs> a Messiah was needed to cleanse the sins of all of us sinners, okay? So, because we started out on that foot, um, Jesus accepted the task of embodying the Christ on this planet Of fulfilling the prophecies fulfilling all this means is Christ through Jesus was saying you believe you need a Messiah so I'm gonna give you one because the truth of who you are has been so lost has been so twisted that I have to give you what you think you need so that you can come to know yourselves in truth. And so when Jesus said, I and my Father are one, <laughs> this beautiful truth that he brought to us was to say, it's not just me. It's not just me that is this. You are also this. But he couldn't... It wasn't easy to come out and tell people you are divine. Because everything they had ever known was the opposite. Everything they'd ever known was to teach them that they were sinful and they were not of the light. And they were something to be ashamed of. And so... Through his saying, I and my Father are one, he was saying, you are divine, as I am divine. But, the beauty in it is this. He knew that if he could embody that on this earth plane, and we could see it before us, the truth walked before us, the truth walked with us how greater how how there is no message that could have been as influential 
as him being the embodiment of the truth on this planet, to tear down the false belief systems. And it has taken thousands of years for many of us now to say, brother, I get it. I understand what you were saying. I understand that you knew I had to see the truth right before my human eyes. I had to see the truth. I had to see it in you. And as the Course in Miracles teaches, you know, if you can see Christ in your brother, you can you can know yourself as that. And the opposite, which is not opposite at all, but perception is true. If I know myself as Christ, I can see Christ in you. If I know myself as Christ, I can't not know anyone else as Christ. It must be so for all. If it is so for me, it must be so for all. And the beautiful thing that Jesus did was he he embodied it here and said, I and my father are one, knowing that it was only a matter of time that once we saw Christ in him, it was only a matter of time before we would realize ourselves as Christ also. And so to be gentle to our highly influenced system in the opposite direction, he said it the way he said it. I and my Father are one. And what he was saying in totality is, and this is true for you also. Once you see it in me, it is only a matter of time before you see it in you. And in this, I am so humbled yet again for the the love that I'm just so appreciative of my brother. I'm so appreciative that he met us where we were. That he met us where we were and he gave us this beautiful gift of truth. In time. To help us remember help us remember who we really are, what we really are. I hope this message finds you well in peace and love. May you be blessed.